real quick, because I'm looking at you real quick. Yeah. See that tattoo? Yeah. I see hip hop. Yeah. So, yeah. what does that word or those two words mean to you? Man, to me, I, the whole thing says in love and memory of hip hop. I actually got it off the Nas Hip Hop is Dead album. It came out, I want to say, maybe 2006, which is around the time I dedicated myself and decided, like, this is the path that I want to choose, you know, as a career. So it, it, it was just a reminder, you know, things was turning sour. Like, honestly, I got into rap and became rapper because I stopped liking what people was putting out. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, that was my whole main part. Like, if I if if I was still, you know, hearing, being able to buy, you know, music and support dope music around this, around 2006, 2007, 2008, I might not have never put nothing out. You know, but it was just the willingness to, to understand. Like, I was a kid when, you know, but I was around, you know, when, when you had to, when my older cousins was buying albums and had to hide them. You know what I'm saying? When rap albums was really, like, dangerous to some right, people, right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I was a kid, I was around, so once things started to, like, soften up and kind of turn a little bit, you know, it was kind of interesting to see, so instead of complaining, I decided to, just, you know, join in, man, really, to be right. honest. So like like tattoo hip-hop yeah. on your body means a lot. Like, yeah. hip-hop just turned 40 years old yeah. a couple months ago, yeah. and, you know, I always preach hip-hop don't know you exactly. if people in the new generation don't know who certain right. people are, and We've known each other for a while, from yeah. the Nipsies yeah. and so on and so forth, but you know, I come in the game through Run DMC and Jam Master yeah. J. Exactly. So that's hip hop to me, and I work mm -hmm. with Eazy-E. So I work with a lot of hip hop legends. Yeah. And what I respect about you is, I look at you as an MC, not yeah. a rapper. Exactly. I compare you with the greats, to be honest with you. Yeah. Commons, Thank you. Nas, Thank you. Tupac, Thank you. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. J. Cole, because nah, yeah. you have, you have um, substance, exactly. and you spit from here. Exactly. And you spit from here. Exactly. The pen game is crazy. Exactly. You know, you just not talking about you in the club, yeah. you popping bottles and yeah. following the trend. Yeah. So that's why I salute you. But when I saw that, yeah. hip hop, and then you say loving memory of hip hop, yeah. wow, because yeah. we're trying to keep hip hop going. Exactly. People, think, people say it's dying, exactly. but people like myself and you were trying to keep it going, exactly. to be honest with you. And the tattoo was just a reminder of that every day, you know, not to say that I share in the same thing. Like, that's not his opinion. If I made Illmatic and then was at the place in 2006, I, you know, he got the right to say whatever he want, but I'm just saying, as long as I'm here, I'm going to do my part. With it. Freedom of speech. Exactly. Freedom of and speech. As long as I'm here, you know what I mean, to whenever that is, I'm going to do my best to make sure that, you know, rap and hip-hop music, you know, is looked at respectfully. You know, yeah. across all genres. And I respect that. And you're yeah. from the West. And yeah. at the end of the day, like, only God can judge. Yeah. So that's amazing. So you're from Lamar Park, yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. You know, and I know where it is. Yeah. And for people who don't know what it is, yeah. you know, let them know what your neighborhood is to you. Yeah. And you rep it so much. Yeah. So take us through the neighborhood, like yeah. driving through, but yeah. visually yeah. from your mouth. Yeah. I mean, what you really gonna see is, you know, um, the main borders would be like Crenshaw, MLK, you know what I'm saying? More so on the west side. So what you gonna see is, you know, um, where I was kinda at, it was a lot of apartments, a lot of duplexes, single family homes, you know? Not, I wouldn't say it's, it's not the worst at all, by far that anywhere has to offer, even Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying? But it's not the best. It's kinda like, you got one foot, you know what I'm saying, on level ground, and but you might see a lot of things that occur around the way. You know, it's a part of South Central Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying, which has a lot of, for instance, in society scenes have been filmed there. The show Moesha actually took place with Brandy. You know what I'm yesterday, yep. Yeah, that show was shot, was supposedly, you know, was taking place in the work part. At the same time, I'm a kid living there, not even thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm living there, I'm just watching it like it's a TV show. So it's like, you know, it's it's a it's a real cool environment. You know what I'm saying? I got to I got to see a lot. You know, being closer to the West Side and just living in Lemur was like and talking about it so much. It's just like a location. You know what I'm saying? It's real important for us. Like when I first started, I got the chance to holler at Ice T. You know what I'm saying? It was one of the first people to really give me some game about what I was doing and things that happened before I even knew what was going on, you know? And just being from LA, it's real just important, you know what I'm saying, to take, like, I'm not a gang member. Everybody know gangs is real important, you know what I'm saying, are a real part of the culture of LA. But being able to come from where you're at and just be like, this is me, you know what I'm saying? And this is my city, and this is my neighborhood, and this I'm down with and had that respect on all levels was important for me. So the first chance I got, you know, the first question you go around, you hop off the bus, 
people gonna say, are you 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 at the park? People gonna say, where are you from? Right. That's the that's the main question in LA. So before we even get any of that, on my part, right. that's my goal. What does that What does that neighborhood mean to you growing up? I mean, there? it was it was just it was it was like you know I, I talk about it so much just because it gave me so much inspiration. You know what I'm saying? So so in a way, like a, a painter, he might see a beautiful girl and he say, I gotta paint her. You know what I mean? Her body's so crazy. That's just kind of how I look at it in terms of my neighborhood. Like I had homegirls there. You know I. I first fights, you know what I'm saying? On and on and on, like things like that. King Parade comes down, comes through the murder party. Like there's so many things, you know, walking to the barbershop on Crenshaw, hanging out at Earl's, you know, just knowing people year after year, you like, oh shit, this shit is important, right? Like, you know, when you just there and you a kid, you like, I don't want to talk about this, because this is what I do. But then as you get older, you realize like, nah, that was pretty, it's pretty dope how we came up. Right, you know, I went to the Mark Luther King Parade, yeah, Crenshaw, a yeah, couple years. Yeah. I was down towards the end in Inglewood. Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely an experience. Um, I want I want to say this because last time I saw you, we were in New York. Yeah. And there was a legendary show for a legendary magazine, yeah. The Source Magazine. Yeah. And I had Bone Thugs there, and Wu Tang was there, and Little Kim, and Dipset. Yeah. And I look at the bill, and it says currency and Dom County. Yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. And I smiled because yeah. I'm like, Dom is the only West Coast artist, yeah. and he's coming to represent in Brooklyn at the yeah. Barclays Center where the Nets play. Yeah. That's like when I told Justin Bieber he just did Madison Square Garden and sold it out. Yeah. And I said, this is Run's house yeah. from Run DMC, and you sold it out. Yeah. How did you feel coming out in Brooklyn, yeah. the Barclays Center, yeah. home of the Nets? Yeah. They didn't have many concerts there yet, yeah. and you came out with some legends yeah. and currency. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Because I was just like, I smiled. Yeah, me too, man, me too. Just getting those type of opportunities in, in Brooklyn being so important to rap, you know what I'm saying? Obviously being from LA, but you know, New York is it, it, is is where rap music and hip hop is from, you know what I'm saying? So everybody, and Biggie being one of the main reasons, you know, outside of DJ Quick, Biggie being one of the main reasons why I even am able to do and understand how to rap and, you know, be able to be myself and, and, and write rap lyrics. Biggie being one of my biggest inspirations. Wow. You know, Biggie being one of my biggest inspirations. So getting to meet Lil' Kim, you know, I had, I had met Wu-Tang, uh, most of the members for Wu-Tang and seen them perform, you know, before. But, you know what I'm saying? Even like, like all Wu-Tang just 36 chambers. When you think about it in the scope of time, you know, and going back from like 93 and 94 and hanging ready to die and then going to Barclays month ago when we see you and it's like it almost seemed unbelievable but it's just like man this you know this is what we do we shake hands we smash shows and we go to the next city exactly. you know at this point all to keep it going right all to keep it going and as long as I, I continue to think about that and that's one of the reasons why I got this tattoo because like it don't really have nothing to do with me it's the kid after me exactly. that's gonna see that and say damn you know just how Ryan you said Ryan's house was, you know, and just hearing about those stories and it's like, I don't I don't feel the need to want to go backwards. You know what I'm saying? Run and DMC did shows in the 80s at Madison Square Garden. They must have did it for a reason so that today we can still do it and go bigger. You know, so it's like, it's it's I look at it as a dope, big responsibility to keep the game going. Right, you know, it's so you funny. You're a West Coast artist that say your influence is big yeah. and quick. Yeah. I was just with Quick in New York and I tell people that Quick's first label was Profile Records, yeah. a New York label where Run DMC was signed. Um, and we're going to be interviewing right. Quick in the next two weeks. Yeah, he was yeah. signed to Profile Records, a New York based yeah, label. I didn't know that was a New yeah, York yeah. Record. And that's where Run DMC was signed, not Def yeah. Jam, they were signed to Profile Records. And it's funny because you interview an artist like J. Cole, who's from North Carolina, yeah. he, his inspiration was Tupac. You know, Tupac, yeah. everybody thought it was a West Coast artist, yeah. but he's from New York. So you being inspired by Biggie was great. And I was. I'm humbled and blessed that I was able to work with Biggie when we did the Bone and Biggie collab. And I'm gonna try to show you that picture after that I was in the studio with him and walked in and I knew Biggie from just being in New York, but when we had the opportunity to do Bone and Biggie and a collab I put together, I was like, wow. You know, and that was just a sad thing. So that's good to know that you're inspired by Biggie and DJ Quick, because Quick, I feel is underrated. Um, one of the best producers out there and people reach out to him to mix their stuff from YG to Jay-Z. So that's great to know.